Thorn cart upsells second chance. We're gonna set up a product and an automation that handles the ability to give somebody a second chance to take an upsell. Now, to be careful, this is one way to blow your integrity if you're not careful because you're offering something that in theory should have only been offered once and when they close the page, you're basically saying no and you're not gonna offer it again. However, in this case, we're gonna do the same offer via email for a limited amount of time. Again, be careful with it because if you get it wrong, you can ruin your integrity. So what this involves is creating a matching product for your upsell. In other words, a product that is identical to your upsell. And if they don't take the upsell, there's gonna be an email sent that links to that second chance upsell product with an expiration. And inside our email system, and I'm gonna use Active Campaign. It's the automation will sit there and wait for 15 minutes after the purchase. If it doesn't, uh, if, if no upsell occurs, then it's gonna send the second chance email. Now inside Thrivecart, we're gonna have a second chance upsell product, and I'm not gonna actually use a coupon, and, but we are definitely gonna use a countdown timer to expire the product. So let's dive right in. So inside your Thrivecart account, you're gonna to wanna to have a main product and then an upsell, and you're gonna create a funnel. So let's actually do that right now. So I'm gonna simply create a funnel. Yes, I want to enable this, and I'm only gonna do one upsell, with example.com. Okay, so there, our sales funnel is set up, and we have an upsell in place. And let's take a quick look at this. So it's a main upsell, one-time fee, $999. That's all we really need to know. Um, we are going to do something here in the customer area in just a second, but let's duplicate, for instance, this main. Like I said, let's duplicate the main product. And I'm gonna call it main upsell, even though it really isn't. So for this to work properly, you need to have a connection to your email system. So I'm gonna go here and make sure I'm connected to my active campaign account. And to do that, I need to actually set up an automation. So let's go into active campaign, go to automations, create a new one, start from scratch. We're not gonna do anything special with regards to the start. We're just gonna let active or Thrivecart add somebody in here. First thing we'll do is simply wait. And I'm only gonna give them 15 minutes. I'm gonna wait for 15 minutes. And then we wanna send an email after 15 minutes. And the assumption is that they have not purchased the upsell. Inside this email, the only thing I really need to do is have a link to the upsell. So let's go ahead and do that. But Actually, so before I do this, let's go back out again, get the link for the upsell. So I'm gonna get the URL and put it in here. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And we need to put a countdown timer on this. So we're gonna go ahead and go to customers, or sorry, checkout, customize, countdown timer. And I'm gonna just say in the email, you've got 15 minutes to decide. So let's do a period of time after first visit and let's say zero days, uh, zero hours, and let's say 14 minutes. And I'm gonna replace with message. Sorry, go ahead and save that. Now, I'm actually gonna add a countdown timer inside my email by doing this. I'm gonna go in here, go to nine seconds to read the email. And we're going to say, again, we and I'm gonna get the URL one more time. And 
you know what? I'm going to put that link in there too. So let's go ahead and do that. And I want to get the email. So I need to select this is for active campaign. There's the embed code. I'll copy that. Now back here to add a countdown timer, I'm going to put a HTML block right here. And I'm going to skip it and just simply paste it right here. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and save and exit that one. So that's the second chance email. And then we're going to set a goal. Um, and you know what? Let's do this. So let's create a tag called Thrivecart Second Chance. And we want the goal to be when that tag is applied. So the way this works, somebody's going to make a purchase. They're going to get put in here, wait for 15 minutes. And if they purchase the original upsell, this will actually get um, met because we're going to apply a tag when that occurs. Otherwise, they're going to get an email inviting them back to make a purchase. So. Let's go back to Thrivecart and take a quick look to make sure we're going to have to set up our main product. Let's go to customers. When they purchase the main product, let's add them to an automation. Let's put them in here. Now, uh, let's go to our upsell. And this time, when they purchase the upsell, we're going to add them to an existing tag. And we're going to put them on this Thrivecart second chance. Though that doesn't really make sense because it is truly the, the uh, upsell that they're buying. OK. So now we get, the, get to test this out and see if it works. So quick review. Somebody buys the main product. They get offered the upsell. Regardless of whether they take the upsell or not, they get put into active campaign, which puts them into an automation that waits for 15 minutes. If they purchase the upsell, great. They, that's it. They don't get an email to remind them to buy the upsell. If they, don't, if they don't take the purchase, after 15 minutes, they are going to get an email saying, hey, here's another opportunity to buy. It's going to be actually a product that mimics the upsell, and we're going to use a countdown timer to give them a fixed amount of time. So let's get started with our purchase. We're going to go here. I'm going to make a purchase right now. So I'm going to go ahead, say, no, thank you. I'm not taking that. So at this point, I'd be sent to my product page, wherever. But now I want to go into here. And maybe this will show up. There should be somebody waiting in 15 minutes. There I am. So I'm waiting for this email to be sent. Um, and because I'm, I'm not tagged, I don't get, I don't get um, moved along. So that's working appropriately. So now let's go back. And we'll make another purchase. This time, I'm going to actually make um, or take the upsell. And I'm going to say, yes, I do want to upgrade. Now, I've got access to both the main and the upsell. So let's go back in here. And hopefully, I'm not sitting here waiting. I should have already gone through, so we shouldn't see more than one person. Let's go take a look and see if we can find that D Wooding Plus test 444. So there I am right there. So notice I have the Thrivecart second chance tag, and I've already been through the automation, so it's working as expected. Now the next step is let's just make sure that this actually email goes out. So 
Instead, let's simply move that person along, which is this guy right here. And he's currently in this automation. We'll go into that automation. We'll manually step them to the next step. So let's skip this. And the email was sent. The little checkbox indicates that it was sent. So now I need to go check my email to find out if, in fact, I received it for the D Wooding Plus Test 333, but not the Test 444 the upsell and I'm going to click on display images because I like to see the picture there's the countdown timer and there's the link so let me just make sure this is to the right person should be test 333 and it is and I can click this link or I can click this link and it should take me to the upsell there it is so there's the $999 so that is how you use Thrivecart with your email system to present an upsell for the second time.